sometimes because I didn't sleep, for example, yesterday night, I'm thinking that uh, the special army will enter and they will arrest this and that. So, so most of people, they know, you, you know them. We are Palestinian camps. So the whole families know each other. We know my, know, my neighbor, my, know, my neighbor knows the others. So everyone is affecting the others. Yeah. I, I have a headache from the early morning because I didn't sleep. I'm been thinking that because the, the three persons, they arrested them yesterday, um, Kaabi oh. family and others, yeah. they are neighbors of my family house. So what, uh, what such these guys did, they did nothing. They don't have even the ability to do anything toward or against uh, this big uh, military uh, kingdom. We are, yani, we are trying to defend ourselves by stones, people in the world. Yani, for example, look, um, I'm looking at my kids. They are watching TV. They see the Disneyland. They see other ki kids. They're going to parks, to uh, traveling, doing many activities, but we don't have such disabilities. So the, the only, um, every time they are asking you the same question, why? Why we are like that? Why we obliged to live in such these conditions? Until when? To do what? So in this way, to let the hatred fill our, our hearts, especially kids, from this side, the, the, you can see the people will not um, stay silent until when. They are thinking, day and night, they want to change this future. They want to live a, a nice future like others. It's our right. We are a human being, and we have rights like any human being in the world. But we don't have anything of this. At all. So we are controlling by uh, the occupation and the Israeli side for everything, for doing anything. And my uh, personal experience that that I was engaged engaged in 2003 to a journalist, and this journalist he was also shot in the gate of Balata while he was taking photos, and he became a martyr. So everyone here has his own story, has his own uh, suffering. That most of those incidents which happened in the last days, there are kids, there are the ones that are 13, 14, 15, 17, and 20 years generation. old. And all of them. Those are the young generation who have been born after the peace treaty. With the they were, those, their fathers were thinking that we will reach a peaceful solution and we will have our own country, or have our own liberty, freedom. Suddenly, the new generation which had been born they came to be in this situation where there is no freedom for you. There is no way of even having a dignity, life, as what you were expecting. So that makes it much harder for those people to accept the type of life that they are living in. So this is the way they express themselves, by shooting, by killing, by stabbing. Because for them, life equals death. Because you are not living as normal life as people around. So there is no hope for it, for the future. We see much more darkness. So this is the only way that they are responding. At how, you know, they are just rejecting even the orders of their fathers, the way of life, because who are you to order me? First of all, you cannot stand against the soldier who is coming into my home. You are not defending me. You are not they, they, they think that you are like a hope for them. Yes, you are like a window for hope to let your voice reach their voice reach through you to your country to talk exactly what is going on.